Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Arles Ernesto López, presente, señor. Ahorita buscando pupusas aquí porque a todos se acostumbra el hombre, menos a no comer, señor. Okay. Good evening. Everybody, good evening. Welcome. And bon appetit. Bueno, que, veo que varios están cenando ahorita, así que buen provecho. <laughs> okay. Vamos a comenzar entonces. Solo permítanme acá. Un instante, ahí estamos. Okay, can you see that? Can you see the screen? Pueden ver la pantalla. Sí, se mira, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let's begin. Uh, first, I'm going to call your names, the attendance list. Just a moment. Okay, let's do this. Um, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Arles Ernesto, ya me dijo que aquí está. Okay, uh, Baudilio. Hi, <laughs> Baudilio Lenilson Rivera. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Carlos Alberto Santo Reyes. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Welcome. Okay, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, teacher. Thank you very much. Um, give me a moment. I'm adjusting my screen. Okay, there. All right. Uh, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Por chat le está escribiendo, teacher, José Benjamín yeah. Gavidia, porque ah. tiene problemas con el micrófono. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, thank you. Ok, es cierto, por aquí me dice. Ok, ya le tomamos su asistencia. José Valentín Rivera López. Presente, teacher, aquí estamos. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, 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 teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. 
present teacher. Thank you. Maria de Lourdes, Miroslava, Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Good evening. Maria Magdalena Cedillos Gonzalez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vasquez Segura. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Monica Yvette Merino Rivas. Presente. Thank you. Okay. Oscar, Oscar Susana Castellanos. Oscar no, Susana. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Pare. Present teacher. Present teacher. I am here. Thank you. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Hi, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Me parece conectada, pero no me contesta. Ahí está. Ok. Hello, Cecia. Um, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pinera. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O, Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Ok. Everybody, welcome. Okay, this is Inglés Principiante Modulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 16, the last one, and today is June the 15th of 2023. Okay, let's do this. ¿Qué vamos a estudiar acá? Si se acuerdan, ayer comenzamos con el uso de can y can't. Okay, Cecia nos dice por acá que no sirve el micrófono. Okay, well, thank you. So today we're going to study that in detail. Vamos a estudiar eso en mayor detalle. Fíjense bien acá. Can and can't, okay? Take a look. He says, I can play the piano, okay? And uh, he says, can you open the door, please? I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Where is WhatsApp? Right here. Okay, I'm sending it right now. Okay, I just sent it to you. So he says, I can play the piano. And he's asking, can you open the door, please? So how do you use can and can't? You use can plus the base form of the verb. If you remember yesterday, I told you, right? You use can, which is a model, okay, with a verb in base form. Se ocupa can, que es un verbo, es un model, verb, con el verbo en forma base. For example, you say can do, can play, can come, etc. So for all the subjects, I, we, you, they, he, she, or it, in affirmative form, you use can. In negative form, you have to use can't. Okay, that's can't. And can't is the short form cannot. ¿Qué es can't? Es la forma corta o contractada de cannot. Es una palabra un poco peculiar porque por lo general usted contracta dos palabras, pero en este caso cannot es una sola palabra y aún así tiene una forma contractada. Es un caso particular. Ok, so remember, no matter the subject, I, we, you, they, he, she, it, the affirmative form is can and the negative form is can't. And after that, you have to use a verb in base form. The base form is do, 
play, see, etc., etc., etc. If you want to ask a question, this is very easy. Okay? Para hacer la pregunta es muy fácil. All you have to do is you have to change the order. You have the subject and then you have the model can. They only change places. And now you have your question. You say, can I, can we, can you, can they, can he, can she, can it? And after that, you have to use the verb in base form. Do, play, see, etc. Okay? That's the question form. So remember, affirmative form, you use the subject and can. Negative form, you use the subject and can't. And after that, the main verb in base form. For the question, you have you use first can, and after that, the subject. Can I, can we, can you, can they, can he, can she, can it? And after the subject, you need to use the verb in base form. That's very important. Do you understand? ¿Se comprende esto? I need to know. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's continue. So what is this? When you say, I can do something, that means I know how to do it. It is possible for me to do it. Vamos a resaltar nada más acá. Para que sea más llamativo a la vista. Just give me a second. Okay, that looks better. Okay, when you say I can do something, that means I know how to do it. Or it is possible for me to do it. Let me just change this. Okay, better. Es cuando usted sabe cómo hacer algo. En otras palabras, cuando puede. O cuando es posible para usted hacer algo. For example, I have, I can play the piano. My brother can play the piano too. Okay. I can play the piano. My brother can play the piano too. Aquí se ve lo que les decía el día de ayer. Si ustedes se acuerdan, no hay una forma diferente para he, she, it. Aquí digo, I can play. Y cuando digo my brother, que sería he, también es my brother can play. Ni el modal auxiliary can tiene una forma especial, ni el verbo que le sigue. ¿Ok? Mucho cuidado con eso. Now, Sandra can speak Italian the language, Italian, but she can't speak Spanish, okay? Sandra can speak Italian, but she can't speak Spanish. Puede hablar italiano, pero no puede hablar español. Now, there's a conversation. Can you swim? And the person says, yes, but I am not a very good swimmer. Sí, pero no soy buen nadador, okay? Ahora veamos la siguiente. Can you change a $20 bill? ¿Te puedes cambiar un billete de $20? Ahora, esto no se trata de habilidad. Se trata de si algo es posible o no es posible. No es que uno no tenga la habilidad de cambiar un billete de $20. Tal vez lo que no tiene es el, el, el cambio de $20, ¿verdad? Que es muy diferente. Entonces, aquí es donde vemos esto. It is possible for me to do it. ¿Verdad? Yo puedo tener toda la buena intención de cambiarle un billete, pero si no tengo cambio, no lo puedo hacer. So, can you change a $20 bill? And the other person says, I'm sorry, I can't. And I am having a party next week. Voy a tener una fiesta la otra semana. But Eric and Rachel can't come. No es que carezcan la habilidad de llegar a la fiesta. Simplemente no tienen tiempo o ya están comprometidos con otra cosa. Erika Beatriz nos comunica que ya llegó. Ok, le vamos a tomar su asistencia. Erika, aquí está. Thank you. All right. So that's the idea. And he says, I can swim. Look. Now, what about this? When you say, can you and can I? 
We use can you when ah, te voy a mandar esto, by the way. Via WhatsApp. WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Se los mando ya antes que se me olvide. Okay. So uh look, you say can you? Can I? We use can you when we ask people to do things. In other words, we use can you to ask for favors. Ocupamos can you para pedir favores. For example, can you open the door, please? Mm -hmm. Puedes abrir la puerta. Can you open the door, please? Can you wait a minute, please? These are favors. Now, we use can I have to ask for something. Cuando usted quiere pedir que le, o sea, que le den algo, okay? You use can I have. For example, can I have a glass of water, please? Can I have three pupusas? Okay? Etc., etc. So, you are asking for something. Usted está pidiendo algo. Usted dice, can I have? Can I have a glass of water, please? And finally, you use can I and the verb to ask for permission. Is it okay to do something? Aquí es cuando usted está pidiendo permiso o autorización. For example, look at this man. He says, can I sit here? ¿Me puedo sentar aquí? ¿Verdad? No está pidiendo un favor ni que le entreguen nada. Está pidiendo permiso para hacer algo. Can I sit here? Tom. Can I borrow your umbrella? ¿Puedo tomar prestado tu paraguas? Can I borrow your umbrella? So that's how you use can you and can I. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you have any questions? ¿Alguna consulta, duda? Es un buen momento para preguntar. No questions. Okay, then, let's move on. Now, this is your turn. Ask John if he can do these things. Pregúntele a John si usted puede hacer estas cosas. Aquí está usted hablando y este es John. Pregúntele. Number one. ¿Cómo le va a preguntar usted a John si puede nadar? Baudilio. Um, solo una pequeña duda en la lámina mm -hmm. anterior, teacher, y quizá fuera en la anterior. Para referirnos en, en la cuestión de tocar el piano, uh -huh. eh, en, en el entendido que a veces tocar, o el verbo tocar es touch. Uh -huh. Así es. Entonces, no sé si aplica en esa. No. No, no really. Tocar cualquier instrumento es play. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Así es. Y me van a decir por ahí, teacher, pero play que no es jugar. Sí, también. Ok. La también. confusión que puede haber en eso. Ajá, ajá. Si ustedes se fijan también, incluso en español es un poco extraño cuando nosotros hablamos de hacer música con un instrumento, porque decimos tocar un instrumento, pero tocar que no es ponerle la mano encima a algo. Uno dice... Ajá. Entonces es un poco, es, es curioso, porque en ambos idiomas se utiliza un verbo que que en realidad tiene otro significado, pero así se ocupa. Entonces, en el caso para... de la trompeta, es, es soplar. Ajá, así es. Pero para cualquier instrumento en inglés vamos a ocupar play. So play. you say play the piano, play the drums, play the guitar, okay. play the bass, play the trumpet, no, play the, I don't know, the flute, okay, etc. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so what about number one? ¿Cómo le va a preguntar usted a John? Acuérdese que está hablando con él directamente. So, what is the question? Paudilio. Can you swim? Can you swim? Okay, just like that. Can you swim? All right, good. What about number two? What's the question? Vamos, sin miedo. 
Si usted no sabe cómo decir una palabra, recuerde que puede preguntar. Me puede decir, teacher, how do you say esquiar? Ok, en inglés. Audilio. ¿Quién dice ¿Qué pasó ¿Qué? en este sector? The word is ski. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, so what's the question? Can you... Can you ski? Can you ski? That's uh -huh. right. Okay, very good. Thank you, Baudilio. Vaya, okay. ¿qué más que pasó? Me dice ahora Cecia, no tengo micrófono. Entonces solo Baudilio está participando. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Okay. David Antonio, number three. What is it? Echale una consultita. Ajá. How do you say ese juego que están ahí las dos personas? ¿Cómo es? Ahí está, mire. Chess. 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 No, chi no cheese, porque cheese es queso. Queso. Chess. Chess. Okay. Ajá. So, okay. what's the question? Can you chess? Mm, chess es un juego, por lo tanto, habría que ocupar el verbo. Play. You... Ajá, ajá. ¿Sería entonces? Can you play chess? Can you play chess? Correct. Ok. Franklin de la O dice que ya está por acá. Thank you, Franklin. Ok. Can you play chess? Very good. Thank you, David. Enrique, number four. Number four. Can you run? Can you run what? Can you run 10 kilometers? Can you run 10 kilometers? Uh-huh. That's correct. Thank you, Enrique. Very good. Jose Amir Carreyes, ya está por acá, nos dice. Vamos a poner la asistencia. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, who's next? Baudilio. Can you drive the car? Yeah. Can you drive or can you drive a car? Ok, cualquiera de las dos. Can you drive? ¿Podría ser can you drive? No, porque si se acuerdan lo que vimos ayer, cuando utilizamos can, que es el modal auxiliary, oh. solamente ocupamos el verbo en forma base. Okay. La forma en ing ya no es la forma base. So, can you drive a car or can you drive simply? Number six, volunteers, please. Mm -hmm. Number six. Carlos Alberto. Can you ride a horse? Can you ride a horse? That's correct. Okay, very good. Can you ride a horse? Great. Okay, um, and now this, can you do these things? Write sentences about yourself. You have to use I can or I can't. Ahora dígame usted si usted puede hacer esto. What about number one, volunteer, swim. Si usted puede nadar, entonces I can swim. Si no puede, I can't swim. Okay. So, uh, Baudilio. I can swim. You can't swim. Affirmative. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. David Antonio, number two. I can't stay. Ski. Okay. Ski. I, can't I can't ski. ski. Okay, naturally. <laughs> okay, Cecia, number three. I can play chess. Play cheese or play chess? Chess. Sorry. Chess. <laughs> okay. Si no juega queso. Okay, no. Play chess, jugar ajedrez. So I can play chess. Okay, that's good. Uh, Enrique, number four. I can, I can run. Mm -mm. I can run. Run. I can run. 20 kilometers. 20 kilometers. <laughs> okay, okay. I can run 20 kilometers. All right, good. Carlos Alberto, number five. I can drive a car. I can drive a car. Okay. And Baudilio, number six. I can't 
cannot ride a horse. I cannot ride a horse. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Now, next exercise. Complete these sentences. You have to use can or can't plus one of these verbs. The verbs are come, find, hear, see, and speak. What about number one? I'm sorry, but... ¿Quién me dice? Hay que ocupar can o can't y uno de estos verbos. María de Lourdes. I'm sorry, but we can't come to your party next Saturday. We can't come to your party next Saturday. That's correct. Thank you, María de Lourdes. Number two, volunteer. I like this hotel room. What about this one? Carlos Alberto. You can see the mountain from the window. You can see the mountain from the window. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number three, you are speaking very quietly. What is it? Baudilio. I cannot speak you. I cannot speak you. Mm, no, sorry, oh. wrong verb. <clears throat> It's a different I verb. Find... I can't find you. No, sorry. It's a different verb. But thank you for participating. Okay. Who can tell us? Quien nos ayuda? Number three. Ever. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. You're speaking very quietly. When a person is speaking quietly, they speak like this person speaking quietly you say what okay you're speaking very quietly i can't hear you number four have you seen my bag has visto mi bolsa como es un anuncio viejito decía en mi bolsa si usted se acuerda de ese anuncio ya no está tan joven okay so number four have you seen my bag cecia i can see it I can't see it. Mm, different verb. Ya ocupamos, sí. Ah, sorry. I can't find it. I can't find it. Okay. Find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you seen my bag? I can't find it. Okay. Good. Thank you. And the last one. Catherine got the job. Catherine consiguió el trabajo. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Because she can speak five languages. Catherine got the job because she can speak five languages. Wow, that's a lot of languages. Okay, very good. All right, let's continue. Now, your turn. Complete these sentences. You have to use can or can't plus one of the verbs, okay? But this time you have requests, okay? You have to use the verb in parentheses. Hay que cambiar esto porque creo que se me fue ahí la instrucción mal. Plus the verbs in parentheses. Ok. Todas son preguntas. Ok. Cecia, number one. Uh, the microphone. No, que esto está fallando. <laughs> Uh, can you open the door? Se le olvidó la palabra mágica. Me olvidó. Todo lo que dijo está bien, ah, pero la palabra mágica, ¿cuál es? Please. Please. <laughs> can you open the door? please. Okay. Yeah, correct. Thank you, Cecia. Very good. Can you open the door, please? Okay, good, good. Number two. Now you have to use the verb pass. What is it? Raise your hand if you know. Paudilio. And then David. Can you pass the salt, please? Can you pass the salt, please? Okay, very good. Very good. Now, David. 
Number three, you have turn off. Turn off means apagar. Okay, so David. Voy a intentar, teacher. Go ahead. Can you, can you turn off the radio? The radio. Radio. Mm -hmm. Can you turn off the radio? Please. 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 Okay. Can you turn off the radio, please? Okay. Good. Thank Ahora, you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you for participating. Okay. Para las siguientes, van a ocupar can I, porque ustedes van a pedir algo o van a pedir permiso para algo. Okay. So, number four. Now, look at this. Look at the picture. You have phone numbers. Anda recogiendo número de teléfono. So, what is number four? You have to use the verb have. Carlos Alberto. Can I have phone numbers? Phone numbers, please. Can I have your phone number, please? Mm -hmm. Can I have your phone number, please? Correct. Si se acuerdan, dijimos que se utiliza can I have para pedir algo, para solicitar algo. Can I have your phone number, please? Okay, good. What about number five? You have borrow. Tomar o pedir prestado. Okay, so number five. Who knows? Odilio. Can I have um, the mm -mm. borrow, please? Mm -mm -mm. No. Borrow is the verb. Can I have? Mm -mm. Can I? Can Can you? Mm -mm. Are you? Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah. You can hide. Mm -mm. You can sorry. Hide. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Odilio. Okay, Maria Lourdes. Can I borrow your newspaper, please? Or can I borrow the newspaper is also correct. Okay, thank you, Maria Lourdes. Can I borrow the newspaper, please? Puedo tomar prestado, ¿verdad? El, el, el periódico. Can I borrow the newspaper, please? Good. And number six, ask for permission. How about number six? David. Mm -hmm. Can, can I use the pencil, please? Okay, looks like a pen, but yeah. Can I use your pen, please? A pen, okay. Mm -hmm. Can I use your pen, please? There you Thank go. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, very good. I'm going to send you this one. Voy a mandar este ejercicio. Normalmente no mando los ejercicios, pero este sí lo voy a mandar. Let's see. Um... Okay, Cecia. Uh, yo no sé qué es borrow. Borrow, okay. Vamos. Pues, meaning borrow. What is the meaning of borrow? Okay. Okay, now uh, remember, you have two verbs in English. One verb is lend, and the other one is borrow. Now, what is lend? Prestar. What is borrow? Pedir prestado. Tomar prestado. That's the difference. Así que cuando alguien dice, can I borrow your umbrella? It's like, puedo tomar prestada. Puedo tomar prestado, perdón. Paraguas. Can I borrow? La cuestión sí, es que eh. en español no, no hablamos mucho así, por lo menos no en El Salvador. En El Salvador lo más normal sería decir: Me Estame prestas. 
o me prestas, ¿verdad? O, ajá, me prestas tu paraguas, ¿ok? Michelle, y paraguas y sombrillas igual, umbrella. Umbrella. Uh -huh. Umbrella. Así es. Esta confusión es, es, estos dos verbos son un poquito complicados de comprender. Creo que ya les, les había comentado esto. O no fue a este grupo, no me acuerdo. Uh, que por lo menos en español se vuelve un poco eh, confuso en El Salvador, más que todo porque utilizamos el verbo prestar de una forma incorrecta. No dice, por ejemplo, mira, yo no tenía dinero, así que me tocó prestarlos. En realidad no, le tocó pedir prestado, que no es lo mismo. Prestar es que usted va a dar el dinero. Pedir prestado es que usted le van a proporcionar el dinero. Entonces, ahí está la diferencia, ¿verdad? Si usted, si alguien le dice a usted, mira, préstame dinero, entonces, ¿qué hace usted? You lend money. Usted presta el dinero, lo da prestado. Pero si es usted quien tiene necesidad, entonces usted va a pedir prestado. Eso es borrow. That's the difference. Entonces, al decir, can I borrow the newspaper? Es como, me presta, ¿verdad? Le está pidiendo prestado, ¿verdad? El periódico. That's borrow right there. Ok. Knowledge check. Ok. Gabriela is talking about things she can and can't do. Complete the sentences following the example. That's knowledge check 5.9. And here's the exercise. So we'll compare with the partner. So what about number one? You can see she can't draw. <laughs> no puede dibujar. She can't draw. Totally. What about number two? Number two. David. And Carlos. Okay. I can act. I can act. Okay. Good. Carlos, number three. I can't. I can't sing. Okay, good. Uh, Wilber, number four. I can fix cars. I can fix cars. Okay, good. Cecia, number five. I can play tennis. I can play tennis. Okay. I can. Digo yo que puede y parece que le está ganando al otro. El otro parece estar perdiendo. Digo yo. Okay, number six. Okay, uh, Her Ebert. I'm sorry, Ebert. I can is very well. Can or can't? Can. I can't ice skate very well. Okay, ice I skate. Can. Okay. Yes. Baudilio and then David. Number seven, Baudilio. I can't play the piano. I can't play the piano. Okay, and David, number eight. I can't. Cook at all. I can't cook at all. Okay, you have at all. So what is the meaning of at all? At all means zero, nothing. Okay. This is like when you say in Spanish, en lo absoluto. Se le quema el agua. Se le quema el agua. Okay, so yeah, you say, I can't cook at all. Nothing. Zero. Terrible. Okay, that's the meaning of at all. Usted lo utiliza at all en oraciones negativas. No solo con can't, puede ser con cualquier otra cosa. Siempre que sea una oración negativa. At all. Significa para nada. Okay. Porque, bueno, aquí se pueden preguntar, teacher, pero que all no es todo. <ríe> sí, cosas extrañas del inglés. Cuando usted quiere decir de que no puede hacer algo en lo más mínimo, es at all. Así dice. Ok, the chat. Ok, let's continue. Now, uh, we have a few extra exercises here, and I want you to solve them. Write questions and answers about these people. Now, you have Andrew. Se ve un poco, como decimos en buen salvadoreño, church esta imagen. Lo vamos a tratar de mejorar un poquito aquí. Uh, give me a moment. Ahí está, ya se ve un poco mejor. Okay. Son los truquitos que aprende uno. 
All right. So um, write questions and answers about these people. Andrew, can Andrew fix a car? You have to write a question. You have to give me a question and then a short answer. No, he can't. Okay. What about Chris and Nick? What is the question? Carlos Alberto, then Cecia, you go for number three. Can Chris and Nick swim? Can Chris and Nick swim? Uh huh. And the answer is? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Correct. Short answer. Very good. Cecia, number three. Okay. Can, can, can you yoga? Okay, normally, uh, because yoga is not a verb, yoga is an activity. So normally you say, do yoga. Aha, uh -huh. so can Kenji do yoga? What's the answer, Cecia? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Okay, thank you. Baudilio, number four, Juliet. Mm -hmm. Can Juliet cook? Can Juliet cook or bake? Can Juliet cook? No. She cannot. No, she can't, right? Okay. No, she can't. All right. That's good. Thank you very much. What about number five? Volunteers, please. Vamos, sin miedo. Quiero oír una de esas voces que no solo las escucho cuando me dicen presente. Okay, María Lourdes, vamos. Number five. Sorry, teacher. No, no, no se disculpe para nada. Okay, muy bien que participe. Can Erika play the violin? Can Erika play the violin? Okay. Yes. A chicken. Can she? Look at her face. It's like, oh, uh -huh. she can't. <laughs> Sería entonces, yes or no? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> no, she can't. No, she can't. Okay, sounds good. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, um, Jose Amilcar, number six. And can Natasha jockey? Jockey? Si? Mm. Oh, no. She is... No. She's riding a horse. So... Si, okay. si. Ah, uh -huh. o sea... Yo pensé que... Porque yo le veo la indumentaria de jockey. Jockey? Mm -hmm. Es la quienes montan caballos. Ah, pero bueno. Pero, pero el verbo sería montar a caballo. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿nos queda? Mm, ahí ya me fregó con el verbo. Ah, vaya. <ríe> montar. How do you say montar? Lo mismo que montar una bici, montar una moto. El mismo verbo. ¿Cuál era? Mm, no recuerdo. Ok, no problem. Ken Natasha. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. No, no, no. Okay. Carlos Alberto is going to help us. Can Natasha ride a horse? Can Natasha ride a horse? What's the answer? Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Okay, very good. Next exercise. Now, look, I want you to give me two sentences. Okay, look at this lady. She can play the guitar but she can't play the piano, okay? What about number two? Siguiendo el ejemplo. Look, she can play the guitar, but, pero, right? She can't play the piano. Cecia, number two. Uh, he, can, he can sing very well, but... He can dance. He can sing very well. Le agregó ahí que está bien. 
but he can't dance. Okay. Da pena ajena. Okay, so he can't. Aquí se ve la cara de la pobre señora. Da pena el pobre tipo. So he can sing, but he can't dance. Okay, number three. Volunteers, please. Thank you, Cecia. Very good. Number three. Enrique Perez, then Carlos will go with number four. I need you, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, he can. He or she? Uh, he. He? Is it a boy or a girl? Oh. Una chica. Vamos, que chica. Mm -hmm. She can mm -hmm. uh, play to soccer. She can play soccer. Uh huh. Uh, but she can, 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 can hockey. That's not hockey. That's oh, golf. Oh, oh yes. Uh, uh, no record. Goal. Thank you. Goal. Okay, but what is the verb? She can play soccer, but she. She cannot or can. Mm -hmm. Can't. Uh, play. Uh, golf. golf. Golf, right? Okay. <laughs> she can play soccer, but she can't play golf. Okay. Good. All right. Um, who's next? When I Wilbert tiene la mano levantada. Wilbert, number four. Okay, permítame hacer el paisa. He can riding a bike. Ah, careful. No se puede riding. Solo el verbo en forma base. Es decir, la forma de nadie. Right. No se puede. Ajá, sería entonces okay. he can. He can ride a bike. Ah, ajá. Eh, he can't. A driving. No podemos decir he can't driving. He can drive. Uh -huh. He can ride a bicycle, but he can't drive a car, right? Okay, good. All right, nice, nice, nice. Next exercise, choose the correct responses. Okay, do you like the guitar? The answers, the possible answers are yes, I can, or no, I don't. The only logical answer is, no, I don't. What about number two? Who do you play tennis with? I do or my sister? Raise your hand. Carlos. My sister. My sister, that's correct. Okay, very good. Number three, who can fix a computer? I can or yes, I can. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Okay, Carlos, again. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Are you sure? Is this a yes, no question? Sería yes, I can si fuera una yes, no question. Pero no lo es porque lleva who al principio. Entonces, who can fix a computer, Carlos? I can. I can. Okay, así es. Si la pregunta fuera... Can you fix a computer? Entonces, sí podría decir, yes, I can. Okay, David, number four. Where do you go snowboarding? In winter or in the mountains? In the mountains. In the mountains. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. There's another exercise, but we're going to skip it because we don't have time. Sorry. So, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir diferentes habilidades y talentos. So what is this? Take a good look. Word power. Complete the word map with abilities and talents from the list, then listen and check. Okay. So you have uh, the, the four categories are musical or artistic technical or mechanical, athletic, and other, okay? 
For example, you have bake a cake. Bake a cake doesn't fit into any of these categories. It's not musical or artistic. It is not athletic. It is not technical or mathematical or mechanical, I'm sorry. So uh, it goes in this category, which is other, otras. Bake a cake. What about this one? Give me a moment. What about this one? Design a web page. Is it musical or artistic, technical or, me or mechanical, or athletic, or other? David. Teacher, technical or mechanical. Technical or mechanical. That is correct. OK, very good. Thank you. What about do gymnastics? Cecilia. Athletic. Athletic. Yeah, correct. Do gymnastics. OK, thank you very much. Uh, Jose Amilcar, what about fix a car? T technical or mechanical? Technical or mechanical. Yeah, that's right. Fix a car. Ahí la risa, Carlos, porque me fue, se me fue de paso ese, ese click. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the next one? Okay. Thank you, Jose Amilcar. Uh, fix a motorcycle. Raise your hand, please. Fix a motorcycle. Vamos, vamos, participemos. David. Technical or mechanical. Technical or mechanical. Very good. Okay, what about paint pictures? Cecilia. Artistic. Musical or artistic. Musical or artistic. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. What about play chess? Carlos Alberto. Other. Other. Yeah, correct. You play chess. That's a game. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. What about play the violin? Enrique Perez. Uh, musical or artistic? Musical or artistic. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's correct. Okay, Cecia, uh, ride a horse. Athletic. Athletic. Okay, that's correct. Very good. Very and then good. Iglesias, uh, sing English songs. Ya me mancharon la pantalla por ahí. ¿Quién me está manchando la pantalla? <risa> Tener que borrar. Uy. Other. Ok. Other. Are you sure? ¿Seguro? Sing. Okay. Cantar. Ok. Sing English songs. Let's see what uh, Franklin De Lao has to say. Sure, sure, athletic. I'm sorry? No, here, this one. Athletic. Sing, sing English songs. Uh, music, music or artist. Musical or artistic. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. Cecilia, <laughs> surf. Athletic. Surf. Athletic. athletic. Okay. And the last one, tell Carlos Alberto. Uy. Uh, tell good jokes, Carlos Alberto. Other. Other, correct. Okay, tell good jokes. Hmm? Decir buenos chistes. Okay, tell good jokes. That's a different ability. Cecia. Please repeat pronunciation athletic. Athletic. Or ¿Sí? athletic. 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 Mm -hmm. Athletic. Okay. All right. Very good. Now we're going to do this final exercise right here. Que sería ya lo último. Okay. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about four unique American races. You will also develop skills in reading for specific information. Final de esta clase, ustedes leerán y discutirán un artículo sobre cuatro carreras americanas únicas. También desarrollarán destrezas en la lectura para obtener información específica. So what's this? Race the U.S. Okay, how many different kinds of races can you think of? Read about four unique American races. Por cuestión de tiempo, porque ya nos quedan solo cinco minutos. Lo voy a leer yo. Okay, the first one. Look, 
New York uh, Roadrunners climbed the stairs of New York City's Empire State Building in the Empire State Building run-up. The climb is 1,050 feet or 320 meters, 86 floors or 1,575 steps. Can you imagine that? It's like going upstairs. Ir caminando las gradas para arriba hasta que llega al tope. That sounds very difficult. Winners can reach the, uh, can reach the top in just 10 to 11 minutes. Can you? I don't think I can. What about the second one? It's a bicycle. Take eight or 10 days to race across America from Irvine, California to Savannah, Georgia. Cross the entire U.S. in this 2,900 mile or 4,667 kilometer bicycle race. In this race, there are no timeouts, right? No timeouts for sleep. For eight to 10 days, racers can sleep only about three hours each day. Very difficult. The next one is, look at this man kayaking. Okay, uh, race on the exciting white waters of the Arkansas River in the Down River Race. Winners complete the 25.7 miles or 41.5 kilometers in just two hours. This is the longest down, down river race in the US. One person, one boat, take the challenge. And finally, you can see a sled and some dogs. Only possible in Alaska, the Idia, Idi Taro, I don't know how to pronounce that, the sled dog race, okay. Race from downtown Anchorage to Nome, over 1,150 miles, which is 1,850 kilometers through cold, wind, and snow. Winners usually finish the course in nine to 12 days and receive cash prizes, money. So that's the text. So what are we going to do? Aquí está el texto. You have to complete this with the right information. This is knowledge check 5.14. Es el último ejercicio de la eh, unidad. So what are what about this? I'm going to give you the first one. You have Empire State's Building Run-Up. That's the name of the first race. Where is it? ¿Dónde se da esa carrera? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Hello. <laughs> se me durmieron. Se, se, se me durmieron. Okay, Cecia. I Empire, thinking. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you're thinking. Thinking in Reading. <laughs> okay. Uh, places. Uh -huh. 1575. No, that's not a place. El Empire State. New and, York. And New York City. New York Empire City. State okay. Building. Yeah, it's in New York City. Okay. City. The Empire State Building run up is in New York City. And what is the distance? Karen Julissa. Ah, okay. Or Cecia. I don't know. Next, participate. Okay. Karen Julissa, what's the distance? Mm hmm. No? Karen okay. Julissa, su micrófono. 300. 20 meters, no sé si así se pronuncia. Meters, uh -huh. 320 meters or 1,050 feet. Okay, that's good. And what is the winning time? Okay. Who can help us? What's the winning time? David. The 10 to once the 12 minutes. 10 to 11 minutes. Okay, good. What about number two? Race across America. Where is it? Mm 
Okay, Karen Julissa. From Irving, California to Savannah, Georgia. Correct. And what's the distance? Ay, no sé cómo se dice 2900. Baudilio, okay, let's see, Baudilio. <laughs> Ah, le iba a decir en español a distancia, teacher. Ah, no, 2,900 miles. 2,900 miles. Or 4,667 kilometers. Okay, maybe, Baudilio, you can tell me what's the winning time. Time out. I'm sorry? Time out. No, time out is not the winning time. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Carlos. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Carlos? Three hours. Mm, no. Three hours. No, it's not three hours. It's uh, eight to ten days. Okay, that's the winning time. Eight to ten days. Damas y caballeros, no puedo quedarme más tiempo con ustedes porque tengo otra clase también de inglés corporativo. Así que, <ríe> vaya, antes de irnos, aquí les pongo las respuestas. Solo quiero tomar asistencia por última vez acá. Eh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González, ¿nos acompaña? Ya lo vi, ahí está conectado. Ok. Nos acompañará Iván Alexis. Iván Alexis, no. Y eso serían todos. Bueno, eh, nuevamente, esta es la segunda vez que estoy, eh, que tengo, digamos, el, el honor de dar o ser el facilitador para este, para este curso, ¿verdad? Para este grupo de la ANSP. Nuevamente les doy las gracias, ¿verdad? Por su paciencia, por su dedicación, por su participación y por el trabajo que han desempeñado a lo largo de este nivel, ¿verdad? Eh, aún queda el final exam. Si no lo han completado, por favor, complétenlo hoy. No se van a ir a acostar si no han completado ese examen o no les va a dar la nota. Pero creo que ya la gran mayoría lo hizo. Así que, eh, thank you very much, everybody. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Take Ajá. care. Thank you, good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. En el tercer módulo nos vemos. <laughs> Bye. See you. Take care. <laughs>